the Wendy's employee who thought she was going to die. KCB News Watch News, Dave Roberts begins our live team coverage. We've heard what police are saying, but tonight we hear from the Wendy's assistant manager and what it was like to look down the barrel of a gun and survive all of that gunfire that erupted right in front of her. And then all of a sudden he pulled out what I thought was a gun at the time. What Roxana Galloway didn't know is that Cortez Washington's threatening weapon was only an airsoft pistol disguised to look like the real thing. He just kept telling me, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um, the whole time, why having the gun pointed at me? Galloway emptied the drive-through register first, then walked to the counter register. As I was typing in my numbers to get into the register to open it, is uh, when the cops came inside. Omaha police officers Darren Cunningham, Brooks Riley, and Jason Wilhelm enter with cops cameraman Michael Lee and his audio technician Bryce Dion. Lee recorded the action from the dining room. Dion from the east doors. Witnesses say Washington fired two shots at police. That's when police returned fire. Washington ran towards Dion to get away, still pointing his pistol at police. Dion was caught in the middle, trapped in the vestibule. An officer's bullet hit Dion under his arm, slipping past his body armor. The cameraman was just hysteric, yelling, um, Stay with me, stay with me. Um, yelled, to call 911. Bullets that didn't hit anyone traveled half a block, hitting a tanning salon. The bullets that did killed both men. Washington died on scene. Cops audio tech Bryce Dion died in the hospital. Now, Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatterer contemplates his decision to let cops' television crews follow his officers. Personally, I will live, the, live with this forever. And, and on a, if I'd have known this would happen, of course, I wouldn't have done it. What his officers did, Galloway says, saved her life. The only thing going through my head was uh, doing whatever I can to make sure I get home. This is the first time that a cop's crew member has been killed on the job. The officers involved will be on paid administrative leave until the conclusion of the investigation. We're live at 43rd and Dodge, Dave Roberts, KETV, News Watch 7.